Okay, um, so it's looking alright. Um, notice you've got these, um, this double line here. Um, you'll want to take that out. Let's turn on symmetry. Um, yeah, I'm just going to take this out. Shift right mouse click, delete edge. Um, then we do have to resolve this situation um, uh, in that it's a five-sided face. But I might just merge these right here. Um, whoops, oh that's interesting. Okay. Why was I doing that? Oh, okay, because I was on um, so mesh tools, target well, then I'll just do that. I think that'll be fine. Oh, why is it doing that? Okay. Yeah. Um, I think, uh, this area looks a little problematic, and this has a lot of, um, or at least a couple sort of edges dead ending in there. I think we should do this again. Let's, um, mesh tools. Target well, then. and then we can get rid of this. Oh. oh, and then there's, yeah, there's some. Probably melt weld those together as well. Okay. Why does it keep doing that? All right, and then this one, um, you've got one edge there, can we, well, let's at least connect this one to this, and we have to decide what to do here, and this is a situation where I might, you could probably use an extra edge loop here to kind of round out the forehead a little bit, and then we could kind of turn this like that and that um, and then we can maybe shape his forehead a little bit more shift right mouse click slide edge tool oops shift right mouse click slide edge tool And we've got an issue here. I mean, if you want to find all of the, I think you could spend more time in the eyelids too. And this, I think you just really need to shape this to the eyeball. That just it seems like you're at kind of an early stage there. Um, I also wouldn't put these edges quite so close together. Um, but you should shape this more to the eyeball too because right now it's a little uneven and big gaps here and stuff like that. This side is very flat, it doesn't look like that's been shaped. The thing is you should, the ideal way to do this is you, you know, as you add detail you shape it instead of adding a whole bunch of edges and then shaping them afterwards because it's much easier if you do it, you know, while you, as you go. Um, so, oh, I was starting to say, um, If you want to see all the many-sided faces, you can go right mouse click face, select, use constraints, next selection, and sided, and uh, it'll find all those at once for us. So yeah, quite a few things to resolve. And you can see, you can kind of see like these look really big here. And so, um, there's a triangle here. Wondering, yeah, I don't think you need this. Um, uh, and I think we need to. We're going to have to mirror this again because 
this is real uneven in the back. Probably try to move these to the center. Oops, let's turn off symmetry for a minute. Let's um, delete off half the face. Oh, I have to turn this off. Oh, okay, we're going to need to fix this. I think I know, I think you've done something here. I think maybe you had symmetry on when you did the circularize tool. I'm guessing that's what happened. Just do this again and just really check it all the way around. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm going to delete that. Um, go to the center line, just grab these and again check. Yep, look, I missed some like this, this, and this. So make sure those and only those are selected. I mean, this could be a, a good time to actually open up your mouth cavity while we still can see this a little easier. Let's select that center line once again and check that selection. Grab this, this, this. Okay. All right. And in the move tool, um, I make sure this whole interface is open here. Absolute transform zero in the x direction. Enter. Right mouse click object. Shift right mouse click mirror options. Cut geometry is off, combine with original is on, merge with border vertices, custom 0 0.001 mirror. Okay, so now we've got a symmetrical head. Let's make sure symmetry is off and let's try circularizing this again because it's a very uneven topology at the bottom here. Oops, wrong one. Huh. Um, all right, now we can turn symmetry back on and go from there. All right, we've got lots of five-sided faces to deal with. Um, you could probably use another loop back here anyway, so I might... Oh, and then here's another one, huh? Um, all right. Yeah, there's one stone here. Well, let's just start here and might take that row and just use W, hold down left mouse click, axis normal. Oh, I've accidentally selected those two. Okay. Just push that out a bit. Just to kind of give us a little more shape. And um, And 
right now we have to deal with this area. And I just think generally this could be shaped more, you know, it's like it's everything's very blocky and flat, you know, maybe you want to kind of round this out some. And then the front as well. And I'll use soft select to kind of maybe pull it up in the middle here, you know, just to. Anyway, I just think it needs some more attention. Um, this right here. Let's just go back to the select thing, const use constraints. Well, there's a lot. Um, and that is a really big face right there. So that's sort of, to me, that's kind of calling out to... But you also have so much geometry here, I'm wondering any of that can be kind of scooted forward, probably not. And also, it's just there's just not a lot of you know shape. It's very wedge shaped. Like I would take these um, left mouse click axis. Oops, axis normal. Just push these out. But you know, kind of make it arc shaped. Probably go further with it. Um, some weird shapes here. I might do the nostrils as well. Shift right mouse click extrude edge and W. Um, let's just reset this. So you have those internal shapes. Um, lips again you got yeah this just hasn't been shaped much. I mean the trick is is that like you added all your edges without adjusting the shape, so I would actually, you know, and it's just a big sharp wedge here, which I don't think you want. So what I would tend to do is actually take these out. Um, well, at least these two. I mean, there's just so many. <laughs> it's just, it's just, a, yeah, it's just a lot more work to. Um, to do the shape. See that shape has hardly changed after taking out all those edges. So then, yeah, I mean, we can take out this too while we're at it. And these. It really hasn't changed much. I mean, I know it's changed a little, but it's it's. I think what we want to do is let's move these forward. Um, let me open this up a little bit. You know, and really just spend some time getting all of this looking nice. Um, Anyway, I, you know, I can't spend hours on this, but after you're pretty happy with the edges you have, then add one more, and then adjust those. Um, I might use this axis normal thing. 
oops, let's not do that at the top here. Actually, I don't want to do it at the bottom either. Anyway, and then if you need more detail, add some more. But just, you know, take out a lot of the detail, adjust it in a low detail, and then add a little bit more and adjust that, and add a little bit more and adjust that. I think putting loads of detail in in a, in a shape that's not right it just gives, makes it a lot more work. Um, I think uh, maybe we can move this um, up a little bit to make some more room, and then put another row in here and hook this whoops and hook that up um, there and then again go through and adjust the shape and go through and adjust the shape so um, anyway it's it's coming along but there's still you know a lot to do like I mentioned with the eye lid shape and all that stuff there's there's plenty more to do um, I can save this for you as well